One of the most asked questions is, my dog doesn't hold well, what, what can I do about that? Or he, he, he brings it back to me, but then he drops it. There are multiple questions that are connected to the hold command. What I've discovered, and I, had, I agree that the hold command is one of the hardest to teach, but I think many people make it harder by using too much discipline. So as an example, what sit. What they do is they get the bumper in the dog's mouth and then they hold, 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 and they use a little too much discipline there. So that then what I what I hear is people say, well he he picks it up fine, he's excited, he comes back, but when he gets back to me, he drops it. More than likely, the reason they drop it is because the trainer is saying, hold, hold, and that brings back this negative chin bumping, which you may want to do a little bit of while you're in the process of teaching the hold command. But in the field, when you start to have the dog retrieve and come back to you, it's best not to use the hold command, at least not in a strong way. Most people, when they're first starting out using the hold command, throw too far. It's best to throw short so you have a rope and the rope is connected to the dog. So once you do that, it's best not to use the hold command. Don't make a big deal of it. Get a hold of this rope and walk away and let the dog hold on his own rather than the violent hold, 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 because that brings back some memories that may not be good for the dog. So when you want to get the dog excited, dee, 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 fetch, okay, good. Walk away from the dog, don't even look at him. Just have your rope and the dog will come with you and more than likely he's gonna hold. But if you stop and say, hold, 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 the chances are he's gonna drop the bumper. So, that a boy, that a boy, that a boy, that a boy, good. Now you can say good, hold, 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 out. So, lead into it slowly. Don't make a big strong command of it. Don't hardly pay attention to the dog. Let him hold it and be comfortable, then gently say hold. In your initial training, maybe in the kitchen, when you're teaching the hold command initially, you may want to use a little more strong voice, although it's absolutely unnecessary. Um, but once you're in the field, be almost ignore the dog and let him hold. Eventually, fetch. Good, hold, hold, hold. Good boy, hold, hold. You want to be able to get a hold of the string. Hold, hold, good. Hold, hold, that's the stuff. Good, good, out. You want to be very gentle about the hold command. As the dog grows up and gets a little older, out of his puppy stage, you're going to discover that the hold gets better just by age. I have people that say, oh, he holds it like a cigar. Um, what difference does that make? Uh, they probably won't hold a duck or a pheasant in such a way that you say, oh, he's holding it like a cigar. A bumper, it doesn't matter how they hold it. Most dogs learn through experience that they're more comfortable holding it in the middle because it's, it's just easier for them. But puppies many times will hold it like a cigar sticking straight out of their mouth. Don't worry about it. There's not a command to say, no cigar holding. Um, so just let that slide a little bit until they get a little more mature and then they'll hold it in a more balanced way. So in a quick review, you wanna keep your excitement. D, 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 good, all right, good. Hold.
That's a good boy. Hold. 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 Good. Hold. Hold. Out. See, now he has a real, this dog has a real sloppy, soft hold, and he needs some work on this, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this with him. But he's very typical. If you started hollering hold at him, he'd probably drop it. And by having a rope, neat, 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 you can give a little short throw. At a boy, that a boy, that a boy. Here you go, here you go. Good, 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 good. That's it. That's it. Good. Fetch, hold. Good. All right, let's go. Sit. Another consideration is the temperature. You know, when it's really hot and warm, it's a lot harder for dogs to hold than when it's cold. But this, when you don't want to bark out the hold command, out. Sit. Fetch. Good. Add a boy. The uh, dragging a rope is one of the most important features of good dog training because you always have a little control. Good boy. All right. All right, hold, good, good. Now there's a cigar, but it's fine. Hold, good, that's a boy, out.